Being in your position, how much money can we make per month? I make between 45 and 50 currently. Around uh, 100k plus. What do you do for a living? So I, I work for the British government uh, in the Treasury Department. I've always been interested in politics. You're very close to the heart of politics, but sometimes it's Is that a well-paid job? For my job, you can be well-paid, but I will not say that the food industry pays very well. For how much money you want to spend for a car? Maybe 2000 43 years old. Yes. You look so young. Nice lifestyle, you know. What kind of lifestyle you are in? Don't miss any beer and enjoy life. Uh, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Stefan. I am 43 years old. I'm from Germany. 43 years old? Yes. How come? Yeah. You uh, look so young. Uh, nice lifestyle, you know. What kind of lifestyle you are in? Yeah. Uh, don't, um, don't miss any beer and yeah, just uh, yeah, enjoy life. Don't miss any beer? Yes. <laughs> really? But you are not building up a belly? No, that, yeah, yeah. You have to do sports, uh, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are into fitness or what? No, just uh, snowboarding, mountain biking, something like that. Yeah. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a project manager. Mm -hmm. What type of business or industry uh, is it? Aerospace business. For how long you are doing it? For one year now. Yeah. So you shifted your career yes, from something I, else? Yes, from in the same company. I was an industrial uh, manager before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm uh, a project manager. Yeah. That's great. And being in your position, how much can we make in Germany? Around uh, 100k plus. That's great because you are into six-figure income. How do you invest your money? I have a flat to, to pay for and uh, yeah, doing vacation, uh, living my life and yeah. That's uh, most of it, and uh, the rest I'm some kind of investments, you know. Uh, is it like a trading or trading as well? Uh, yeah. What, what type of investment are they? Um, yeah, ETFs mostly. It's, it's very conservative. It's not that uh, that mm -hmm. gambling stuff, you know. Yeah, that's great. And are you getting high ROI from them? No, not that much. It's uh, average eighty. 8% something like that yeah so people in their early age they want to be financially free mm -hmm. and what advice you would give to them buy a house early start investing investing early um, make some endurances um, very early not that high amount but just start early to have a, a low rate a low monthly rate and um, if you just start late uh, your rate your monthly rate is quite high mm -hmm. and you uh, will always have uh, less money for your uh, monthly uh, doing whatever you want to do yeah okay. and at the end being a six-figure income earner is that a secure job I would say so yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah I would say the aerospace industry is um, it was hard in the last in the last years with the corona but in between I would say um, uh, the future looks quite good um, everybody needs airplanes I would say yeah it's a it's a quite safe job that's great. Thank you very much. Good luck on your career and you, because you started recently, uh, a year, I would say, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Too. Good. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Ed Frost. And my age is 34, and I'm from London. 34? Yes. No way. Indeed. How come? <laughs> Moisturizer. <laughs> you, you use a lot? Quite a bit. <laughs> How about you? Uh, my name's Sunny Sitharanjan. Uh, how old am I? 29? Yeah, 29. I'm also from London. That's great. What do you do for a living? Uh, so I work in film uh, for a company called Mubi um, in the marketing department. So like uh, marketing films for release in cinemas. Is that a profitable career? No, not really. <laughs> what but keeps you working there then? I really like independent film. Mm -hmm. So uh, I get to work on really cool films. You are working in a marketing department, not related to the filming. I don't get to make the films, I get to sell the films, which is a whole different thing. Okay. But um, You want to make your own film one day? No, really. I tried doing it at university. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very good at it. All so right. I, can, I can sell, I can't make. What do you do for a living? Uh, so I work for the government, the British government. Um, I work in the treasury. By the way, you are confirming with him before saying things or you are asking what's going on <laughs> i think self-conscious in front of a camera maybe um but yeah so i i work for the british government uh in the treasury department that's a nine to five job i would say a bit longer the like it's a bit 
mm, usually longer than that. It's a bit more intense, but yeah, a general nine to five. Are you happy with that? Ah, oof, that's a difficult question. Yes. So, oh, yeah. being in your position, how much can we make per year? I make between forty-five and fifty currently. Mm -hmm. And grand a year. Okay, yeah. You are happy with that? Happy. With the salary wise, I mean. The salary, it's okay. It's livable in London, at least. Mm -hmm. um, could be more, but it's not. It's not. It's not awful. Do you have any side hustle? No side hustle. But I should have a side hustle. What type of side hustle you would think about it? I really like photography, so looking into doing that, whether that makes any money, probably not, but it's more of a passion than working, for sure. That's great. The million dollar question came to you. How much money can we make in your position? Uh, I currently make 50. Shit, Again, sure. she's confirming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually no. We just recently had a pay, uh, pay increase, um, but yeah, about like 55k. Yeah. And is it okay for you? Like you are living comfortably? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I feel like it's cost of living crisis everywhere. So, but we're in quite a lucky position that it's definitely livable in London. You're living together? Yes. yes. You're sharing everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you are going out for a dinner, who is paying the bills? We split it. Split, yeah. yeah. Do you invest your money or no? No, I'm actually terrible at personal finance. We were just saying this the other day. I should probably, I, all my savings just sat gaining no interest. So I should probably do something about that. But Do you have any savings? Some. For what? Well, just to pay off my mortgage. Oh, you have a mortgage already? Yeah. And do you also rent out? Well, that yeah, pays rent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to him. No, my girlfriend and my, and my landlord. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. ah, you're the boss. In a relationship. In a relationship. Sometimes. Um, sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. <laughs> we have a good dynamic. We have yeah. a good living dynamic. So. And in the future, let's say that he's quitting from his job. He wants to follow the passion, which doesn't pay the bills. Would you be happy with that? Yeah, sure. Within reason. I think it depends if it's affordable. Let's say that uh, for a year, he doesn't work. He doesn't bring anything to the table. How happy would you be with that? I think it depends. So you will. Uh, it's, it's hard, like hard to say. Well, no, I think if it was affordable, then we could probably make something work for yeah. a period. For how long you would support him financially? I don't know. It's really hard to put a number on that. It depends. It depends on a lot of factors, right? Like how much is it affecting his happiness? Like if he doesn't pay the rent, if he doesn't pay the rent, when you will kick him off? <laughs> oh, that's fine. I feel like rent is. I, I think that's fine. That's great. Well, how about you? You invest your money or no? I don't invest it. I don't really understand how to invest money. Um, but I save it, like Sunny. It just kind of sits in a sits in a savings account and not really does. Just it, it collects interest and that's it. Nothing. What's your biggest splurge? My biggest splurge in my whole life. Holidays. Yeah. We're on hol like we're on holiday now. Um, we go on two or three a year. Yeah, you probably do more. Actually. Yeah. Holidays. You are traveling on. alone also. I travel alone, but also together. We do one or two together a year, and I also go traveling either for work or just for like mini breaks into Europe. Let's say that in the future you want to set up your business. What type of business would it be? Oh, I totally have thought about this. I would love to own a pub, which sounds very British, but I would love to be a pub proprietress. Uh, my mum actually, like my parents own shops. That was like their business growing up and their business owners and have never wanted me to have a business from all the stress of having business. But I love the idea of having like a local pub, knowing everyone in the community. But also, we'll probably never do that. So, why? <laughs> my dream. I think I like the idea of it, but I also think that I need to be intellectually stimulated at work, um, and I don't know if that will give me the intellectual stimulation that. But all politicians, when they win the party, and they're going for the pub to celebrate it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe that's the way to to win win some uh, favor. That's a business idea. <laughs> well, God, trade yeah. market. Okay. <laughs> what stops you not doing it? I don't know. Business is quite high risk. Being a civil servant is super like comfortable quite safe job and I, I do enjoy it as much as it's like a bit stressful I might complain about it like I do I, I, I feel like public service is definitely where I see my career, like future lying in terms of career so maybe that's why then maybe when I retire that's great yeah. well thank you very much good luck on your relationship yeah. and on your <laughs> career yeah, as well like we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed to talk to you hello your name age and where are you from so my name is Melanie I'm 27 and I'm from Paris what do you do for the living? Uh, working in supply chain for a food uh, firm. For how long you're working there? Almost two years. Uh, 
Why did you decide for starting in that career? Uh, I don't know the challenges it has mm -hmm. and working in the food industry always uh, moving and fast-paced environment, I'll say. Uh, is that a well-paid job? For my job you can be well-paid but I will not say that the food industry pays very well. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? Uh, I think in euros like around 45 to 50k a year. And which city you live in France? Paris. Paris is there. Okay, but is it enough to live in Paris with your, let's say, the, covering all your expenses and living in your comfort zone? I can live very well. I mean, I can travel. I live by myself, pay all of the the things I have to pay. But it can also be sometimes challenges if you want to save some money. How do you invest your money? Uh, I save it. I don't really invest it, mm -hmm. but I only save it like in my bank, uh, in the bank account. Not sure it's the right way, but. Why do you save your money in a bank? I don't know, easiest way to do it, I'll say. Mm -hmm. But why you don't prefer cash? I don't know, I'm not used to having cash. I'm always paying by card. Okay. Let's say that you have a cash and also the possibility to pay everything by cash and also the card payment. Which one you prefer? Card payment. Why so? Easiest way, I don't have any change. Don't have any, I would say, uh, bills and everything. You just pay the right amount and they don't give you money back. At the same time, you are also losing some money on the transactions? Yeah, not really in France, though. We don't pay any fees on the transaction by card, so it's quite the same if we pay by cash. What's your long-term goal? Uh, I don't know. Maybe change country? Live in another country? That's great. Do you want to start your own business? Uh, I don't know. I, I have thought of that, but I don't know. I also like to work in a company, so I don't know. If I have a good idea, yeah, maybe, but right now, not... You are happy with what you are doing, yes? Yeah, I like I like my job and I like the industry I'm working in, so I'm, it's fine for me for now. That's important for people living in France, but they want to move away and to move another country. What advice you would give to them? I'll say make some research. Do not just pick a country because maybe you have heard some things or look some of the things on the Instagram. Make your research and make sure that you can also find a job that you will like mm -hmm. the country Great. you will stay. But how about people thinking to go to France? What advice you would give to them? I will say try to learn a little bit of French. A lot of people, are, uh, we are more eager to speak English, but a lot of people still do not speak English. So I'll say French. Speaking French is like a plus. Is it because they don't want to speak in English or they don't know how to speak English? Uh, I'll say some did not learn it at school, but now you, it's, you, it's mandatory to learn it at school. But some people are also a little bit ashamed of the French accent we have in English. So they are not really eager to, to no. speak English. I got it. For people, let's say they are in early 20s, they want to start in supply chain industry. What advice you would give to them? Uh, I'll say don't be afraid. A lot of uh, supply chain jobs can be learned at the job and it also changes from companies to companies. And you can also learn a lot on the internet with online uh, training. So just don't be afraid. And if you like it, then start it. Great. What is the best piece of information you ever learned in your entire career? To be proactive and not be afraid of any challenges. Thank you very much. Good You're luck welcome. on your career. Thank you. Hello, your name, age and where are you from? I'm Katrina, I'm 21 and I'm from Rabat, Victoria. Uh, it's Gozo? Yes, Gozo. Okay. <laughs> What do you do for a living? I'm a finance clerk. Finance clerk? Yes. Wow. For how long you are working in that position? Uh, six months. Is that a profitable career? Yes, I would say so. Why did you choose that career? I like accounts mm -hmm. and I've always liked it, so I thought I pursue pursue okay. finance. Okay. That's great. Being in your position, how much money can we make per month? Um, I'm not um, at liberty to, to disclose that from my company. Oh, okay. So. That makes sense. No worries. But how do you invest your money? In a bank, obviously. In a bank? Yes. Okay. Where you are working? You are working in a bank or? No, no. I work um, in a private company. Ah, okay. So you are saving your money, not investing or? Saving, exactly, yes. But you don't have any investment? Not really. Okay. But what are you saving for? In the future, obviously, a house, a car. You have a car? Uh, not yet, no. Ah, you want to buy a car? Yes. So, but does that worth of your money to take a loan and then buy a car? I think it's worth it, but for now, it's not in my plans mm -hmm. maybe in the future for how much money you want to spend for a car not really maybe 2000 what is your long-term goal to hopefully keep on studying and uh, work at the same time obviously 
and grow higher in my position. That's great. And you know what you want to do? I think so. I'm not uh, fully sure. I'm 21, obviously, so I don't know. <laughs> but uh, people also in their 20s, early 20s, what advice you would give to them as a personal development advice or financial? Uh, to not give up, to not, uh, if you're not sure about your career, obviously keep working hard, keep trying, keep trying new things, and eventually you'll get there, I think, so I hope. <laughs> Are you in a relationship or single? Uh, I'm in a relationship. For how long? Three years. Three years. What keeps a relationship longer? I think communication and respect. If you go out for a dinner or s sitting on a table, how often you are using your phone? Not very much. I, if I go with my friends or family or boyfriend, whatever, I leave my phone on the table and I speak, enjoy, obviously, right. the other person's company. Does he work? Yes. He is making more money than you? I'm, I can't disclose that, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, he's making more than you or you are making more than him? Oh, we're eating pretty similar. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's say that you are setting up family, you are starting for a serious decision, and then all of a sudden uh, he decides to quit a job to follow his passion, which doesn't make money, which doesn't pay the bills. What would you do in that situation? I would obviously tell him that if we have family, we have obviously other things to invest in and mm -hmm. pay. To He can pursue it on the side, but obviously we have to put our family and other things first. Mm -hmm. But if he makes less money than you, would you be happy with that? I don't mind. I don't see. I, I, we're not in the olden, olden ages where mm -hmm. people, guys have to make more money than girls. Any best piece of financial advice you would give to us? And let's give a disclaimer. You are not a financial advisor, but no, no, from your <laughs> own perspectives. I would say to invest money, obviously where you think it's in, you have to invest. But to also not spend everything, be careful what, what, where you what you buy, where to invest in, and always check in before you invest in something you're not sure of. That's great. Thank you very much. Good Thank luck you. on your career and Thank relationship you. also. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Florian. I'm 32, and I'm from Germany. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a caretaker of someone who wheelchair, and mm -hmm. I take care of him. He has like 24 hours uh, daycare, so. That's what I do for a living. Why did you decide for working in such job? It was your passion or what happens? Um, no, I study nutritional science first uh -huh. and I have a master degree in it. But I work since eight years there and so the salary is really, really good actually. And I have to work like six or seven days in a month and I get my salary. And the rest of the time I have free time so I can follow my passion like doing martial arts and yeah I have a lot of time for traveling uh, doing recovery and something like that being in your position how much can we make in Germany right now I earn like 2500 euros mm -hmm. per month for how long do you want to continue with that job uh, maybe for one or two years I don't know yet and after that, do you have any long-term plan? Uh, yeah, I want to um, actually go in the career I, I studied for. So I want to go in quality management or something like that. But what stops you not starting to do with that? To have some fights and after I have some fights uh, at boxing or Thai boxing, I want to start a career in my field I study for. Okay. How do you invest your money? Uh, right now I have some ETFs. Uh, I think global, yeah, MSCI world, and I spend like 100 euro uh, per month in that. So you are getting a lot of ROI or how it works? No, I, I just spend money there and yeah, keep it for some years after. Mm -hmm. For people in their early 20s, they want to be financially free mm -hmm. in today's world. What advice you would give to them? <laughs> Choose a profession where you get more salary than in my job. and maybe invest smart and early so and keep your positions for a long time by working for a companies they can be financially free or how i would rather recommend to start their own business because that's the only way mm -hmm. to expand and have scalable income do you know these days what is the good business path you would take and you will make a lot of money because of the industry boom. I think something with AI mm -hmm. and yeah, definitely to do something in, uh, with, uh, in the internet. And also you can walk, uh, work around the, the world. You don't have to stay in your country where you're from. That's great. If you go back to your 20s all over again, starting from there, 
what would you do differently? Oh, probably I would ch uh, choose a study field with more economics. Mm -hmm. So I have the theory to, to build a business and be more independent, I guess. Thank you very much. Enjoy your time. Yo, guys, that's it, basically. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode, too. Again, a quick reminder. Recently, I joined a YouTube partnership program. That means you will see a lot from behind the scene how this process is going on just for joining to members only community. Don't forget, today's video sponsor is you as always. Hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.